What's up, guys? My name is Jamal Socorro. My name is Jerron Gaddis. And we are the Wannabe Boo Podcast, bringing the latest and greatest game anime news, reviews, and waifus for life. This is episode 49. Oh, we're almost there, boys and girls. We are almost <laughs> there. Oh, my gosh. Like, okay. I mean, I, I you know, looking back at it now, yeah, we're, we're pretty much at our almost, what, our anniversary when we first started? When yeah. We, like, what, three weeks left? Wait. 15, uh, yeah, three weeks left. Yeah. I mean, technically, we're still counting the pilot as our first one, right? Because technically, the pilot was the first episode, and then we went to episode one. Right. So, yeah, technically, that would be our first episode, yes. Yeah, so it'll be an anniversary when we release our first pilot. All right. So, and like, it, but and still, it'll be about a year since we started uh, right. the Wannabe Boo podcast. And, I mean, it's been it's been a great trip. It's been a long, good trip. We reached a, th- a total of 1,000 downloads, mm-hmm. and... Man, I don't know. I don't know what else. I don't know what else to say. We, we're probably we should probably do something real special for that day, don't uh, that week, shouldn't we, John? Oh, we certainly should. So, I mean, if you guys got any ideas on uh how we should celebrate our you know the 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 weeb anniversary, the wannabe boo anniversary, <laughs> any specific topics you want us to hit on? Uh, we ain't doing nothing weird, but um, well, not too weird. We we got we, we have dignity. We have some dignity. Right. Even. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the fact that we're an anime podcast, exactly. Uh, but what, what what do you think they can uh, hit us up with those kind of ideas, Jaron? If you want to get in contact with us, you can find us on Facebook. Just search "Wanna Be a Boo." That's W A N N A B E A B O O. Um, search that on Facebook or and or on Twitter. You can also watch us, or I, I always say watch. Listen to us on YouTube, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Listen Notes, uh, the Stitcher app, and any other place. Oh, did I say iTunes? And iTunes? And oh, any no, other place? So. What? No, no, go ahead. I, I don't think you said iTunes, though. Oh, okay. And any other place that may host our RSS feed and has picked us up as a podcast. There we go, guys. And if you like sponsored, unsponsored uh, ads here, if you want to grab some wannabe, wannabe boo merch, which are very, you know, we don't have a lot, but we got, uh, we got a couple, we got a couple of storefronts right now on uh, teespring.com, um, and pick up some, you know, pick up some hoodies, a t-shirt, and maybe a couple, you know, a pair of socks that uh, may may do you fancy. They're that's pretty cool right. socks. They're only eleven dollars. The best, that's about the best we can do right now, and uh, I do want to maybe grab a pair, maybe sometime soon, so I can rock those out and mile them for you guys. Right, or do you. a cough up to them, whatever you want to do. Yeah, again, please, use your socks for your normal, everyday use. I'm just saying, uh, you can find us on Teespring by searching Wanna Be Boo. Um, there will also be a link on the Facebook. So, let's see, this is, about, what, this is the first week Oh no, we're past the first week of uh, the new year since yeah. the last that since the last podcast was on. Well, I don't know. This is because last the because last week's podcast was was still in twenty was still in twenty eighteen. That was the thirty first. So that was right. yeah because that was released on the thirty first of December twenty eighteen. So this will be the first podcast of twenty nineteen. So that is yeah. true. Yeah, you're right. Technically, so look at that. Get and hyped! I'd, all new year, all new and all new. Weebness. Exactly. New Year, same weebness, all right? <laughs> so, and how do you want to start off the new year with with uh, with uh, with with your good old, good old wannabe boo cast here? Some good old harem. We're going to talk about some harem anime today, boys and girls. Most of the boys, any... but very few girls. Yeah, unfortunately. But not just any kind of harem anime, right? We actually want to, we kind of want to break down the idea of just a harem series or a harem anime and different levels of different levels and different points and you know that, that's how that's how we do sometimes that's how, that's what's the meme again that's how it be sometimes that's how it be sometimes yeah and exactly though if you haven't if you have noticed uh for those that are saying always saying oh you know my 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 harm animes ruin the you know anime genre well there's not that many out there yeah. anymore yeah, exactly. It's not just that, but like, there's never been that many in general, from from what it seems. Like, I mean, according to my anime list so far. Right. Apparently, for what my anime list has cataloged. Now, mind you, that is including some hentai, so it that number is actually a lot less 
exactly. you could probably say that there's about maybe 330 harem animes out there, assuming my anime list has them all cataloged. Exactly. And I mean, I don't know where else, because my anime list, my anime list seems to be the only place so far that has like the most complete catalog, I guess you'd yeah. say, or at least most uh, most available catalog for a lot of anime in general. Oh, I forgot. That also, we also have to exclude all the OVAs of the same anime. Oh, right, exactly, because there are, there are repeats in here. Right, so you can knock that at, down by another uh, 10 or 20, so there's so... probably about 310 different uh, harm anime. Yeah, exactly, there. so just just shy over 300, and that's a, that was actually quite surprising. I didn't know about this until just looking into it now. And I, I see. I always assume. Me personally, I always assume that harem seem like seem to be the most you know popular of the kind of uh, creative story creative story route. Sometimes, at least I don't as as of recently, because you know the turn of the uh, the turn of the millennium and all that stuff. Right. Well, you know, it's just you know pe- people you know realistically don't like the idea of having multiple girlfriends. I mean, it's 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 a fun idea until you realize you have to deal with it. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, but, but I mean, how, but, we're going, but as far as but as far as multiples multiples go, like what what do you what do you what do you think Dragon is like the minimum or like maximum? Because okay, so breaking breaking it down a little bit, what counts as a harm when in terms of like just your numbers? Because a harm is like what it's more than it's more than one partner, right? It's but then more, I'd say it's more than two. Really, you think you think uh, you think it should be more than two? Because see, than... he, see, here's the thing: when it's two people, it's a love triangle. That's all that is. It's not a harm. It's a love triangle. Really? Yeah. Well, Think about it. Let's see. Hold on. You, you Ela- got one elaborate. Or the other. Elaborate on that. Come here. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna go like Oxford right now and see what. Uh. The what a definition. Oh wait. That's. Should we go Urban Dictionary or like Oxford Dictionary? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Probably both. Fuck it. We got right. We got to get all the sources. All right, there we go. We got We're we're all we're we're all about real news, not fake news, right? Right. All no right, fake we'll... news here. Starting now, off. The reason why... What? Oh, no, no, go on. You on? The reason why I was saying that I believe a harm is at least three people is because, again, if you're interested in one person, obviously, or you know, if one person's interested in you and you're interested in them, obviously that's just you and them. If it's you know two people that you're interested in and they're both interested in you, then it's a love triangle unless they're okay with both of them dating you. I still wouldn't really call that a harm. I would just say, yeah, you have two girlfriends or whatever. To so like polygamy then? Well, uh, even, it's even all that's polygamy. Like, that's true. Oh, yeah. Polygyny, right. whatever. Both sides of it. But mm. like, it's. Biogamy? I don't know. It's. <laughs> this is only it's, two. It, it's. I feel like two people isn't enough to uh, get official harem status. So not 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 enough, not enough to stir the pot right not now. Not enough to stir the pot. So I would say three, three like different bare minimum is the bare minimum to call something a harm. Okay. Now what about now just offhand? What if what if what if one of those three was also a uh, a man as well? That's gonna happen. And, and some anime. It's, it's, it's I mean, always so a quite it interesting does dynamic. happen to some animes. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of curious because. Does that I, count? I think like I think it does count for some reason. It, it like, counts. Okay. So, all right. The official de- what? Or right, what's the official definition for harm? All right. Well, according to um, was it uh, English Oxford li- uh, the English Oxford Living Dictionaries, um, we, we have three different doc. We have three different definitions here. Um, oh no, yeah, three. Uh, I mean, other than the the formal one, yeah. uh, one of them is women occupying a harem, the wives or concubines of a polygamous polygamous man. That's one of them. Right. Then another one is a group of female animals sharing a single mate. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is a derogatory. It's a group of women per- uh, perceived as centering around a particular man. All right. So that's the one. The, the, <laughs> the, the, the derogatory one's the one that usually applies <laughs> in anime. All right. Oh, well, Urban Dictionary. Oh, look, look at this. Urban Dictionary has got us, Duran. The first right. top definition of a harem in urban dictionary is a genre in manga and anime where a single, right. often ordinary guy is liked and followed by a bunch of girls, three or more. Hey, look at that. Ah, urban dictionary's got three or more. Okay. 
who are all madly in love with him. The girls often fight each other to the guy to get the guy's attention. A female version of this is reverse harm, which will we will get to in some because I have seen a few reverse harm anime as well. I only know of a couple. I may have seen a f couple episodes of Orin High School Host Club. That's it. And, and then uh, just just to, like spice up the the second definition here is a man's group of ladies. That's about straight forward as yeah. as the the definition. But look at that. Okay, so even Urban Dictionary says that's a three or more situation in this case. Right. Okay, it, it would have to be three or more. Because I mean, even certain animes. Uh, let me see what what anime has like a bare minimum three. A bare minimum of three? Um, oh, shit. Oh. The first oh. season of Zero No Tsukaima. Wait, who? Wait. It was, it was Luis and... Luis, the maid, and the black girl. How about the wizard girl? Or was, that, or was she in season two? She was season two. Wait, okay. wizard girl? Yeah, the wizard... The one, the, the one she with didn't the... count. She was never interested in him. I mean... She's, she's literally of... just a friend. <laughs> Think about it. The three, those three girls were interested in Louise, the maid, and the black girl were interested in him. Okay. The the mage girl was the only one that um was the only one that just kind of treated him indifferently. Right. Right. Okay. Fine. You know, after looking at and looking looking at the lists here, a lot of there a lot of them are a, min, a minimum of three, except two. I see I see two here that 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 kind of kind of go past. I don't know. I don't know about the first one. Um, the second one definitely. What? Well, well, first one. Oh, well, the second one is sort of. Okay, they're both a little dodgy. But the first one here, I have is school days. Since school days the... doesn't count because he had the entire <laughs> school of girls. Well, yeah, but that was after he fucked up with uh, you know, Katonaha and then fucked with Sekai. And talk about like, you know, this this was you know, if you if you want to go like basic in terms of like what the story so far, I think school days has a good, you know. The love triangle aspect of the harm, which was just Kotona oh, yeah. and Sekai. Yeah, but they were they. It wasn't so much that like, you know, they were the only two in his harm. They were just the most two most important girls in the harm because they had the most like actual story. He still fooled around with all the other girls. All right. So they they're still a part of the harm. Just right, because fine. they left. When they left, it became a triangle. Well, at the beginning it was a triangle. When they entered, it was a harm, and when they left, it went back to a triangle. All right, fine. One for two, then. Um, how about this one? How about Kiss X Kiss? Uh, the P girl. I mean, she didn't come in though until oh, that wasn't that wasn't really serious until the un unless you actually count the manga because it didn't get too serious in the in the uh, in the anime. And the teacher and Peaches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I can't fucking get over that right. <laughs> For those of you who have watched Kiss X Sis, like the OVA series, you you know exactly. I hope you know exactly what we're talking about. If you do, you gotta help your soul. Yeah. Yeah. Kiss X Sis was a. That was a trip. That was an anime. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I kind of want to watch read the manga, but I know it's it's wonky. It's pretty good. Like I I I stopped at a certain point because I caught up, so I gotta re catch right, up again. Right, right, right. So okay, um, fine. How about this one then? I I haven't seen this one, but I think it only revolves around these two. Kanakon. You're right. Kanakon only did really have the two girls. It was like what the fox and the cat. The fox girl? and the he was she was a wolf or something. Or, oh, no, I, I, I thought the really. I thought I thought the Kudre was the wolf, or unless she was the cat. Or no, no, yeah, yeah, the Kudre was the wolf. Okay, so who was the main girl then? Was the she... main girl was the fox. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You're right. It's one right. so far, but it's like only one. But yeah, you're, right, but right. you're right though. In terms of like the minimum, three or more seems to be like the standard practice here. Because so far, that's the only one that's really stuck out. I guess when right. it, when when it comes to like just uh, having a centered love triangle, I guess you'd say. Right. I guess M M as well. Oh yeah, M M. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Because it was just it was just the uh, uh, the. Was it the Androphobia girl and the and uh, the main character? What, what do we call it? It was it was Kamidere. Uh, was she Kamidere? She thought she was God, or she okay. said she kept saying that she was God. Okay, so the Kamidere and the and the Androphobia. Yep. All right, good. That's another one. Um. So yeah, though, so there there yeah. are some that only have two. And they are under the harem tag, but there's no love triangle tag, so yeah, kind of have to go with it. That's like a very niche thing, to be honest with you. If you're going, to, if you want to like stick, I mean, it'd be kind of interesting to see, you know, 
animes that center around a love triangle. I mean, I know I know this season was a uh, domestic Nakano Joe. That's gonna be direct. That's gonna be a love triangle centered um, love affair right there. It's gonna yeah. be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Or a little bit spooky for Jiran here. Yeah, it's it's spooky. Oh, wait, how about Onigai Twins? Please here. twins. Yeah, it's on here. Look, that one. I don't. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to count that because one of them was a sister. I thought they're both his sisters. No, one of them was his sister. Oh, okay. Still, it's just two of them. I guess, but I don't want to remember that anime because <laughs> I didn't like it. Uh, coming off of Please Teacher or yeah. Onagai Sensei, that that anime was such a disappointment. Oh, like, Please Wins, yeah. Wait, yeah, um, just... wait. Speaking of that though, um, I know not to. I know not to Dematsu was also. Well, is it? Uh, is it? No, no. Uh, I mean, that's only two girls. It was just the. It was her. Which one was that? Uh, I don't. I don't know. To the matter, that's the one. That's that's the one that was the alien came down. Main character is like gray haired, curly. He likes to film shit. Oh yeah, police teacher too. Yeah, pretty much. Because <laughs> it was only the, it was only the the two the two main girls there was a the childhood friend and the alien. Right, 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 right. So that's another. I mean, it's not listed here. Because I guess it doesn't. It, it, it was there. It right because that one. I mean, I mean, you know, it's again the reason why it's not there is because it's not doesn't reach doesn't minimum. fall into the harm the idea of what a harm might be, you know? Because you, normally when you think harm in anime, it, you get a specific vision. You get all these girls yeah. getting an accidental bullshit with the main character somehow. It's like your, it's like it's it's like your your, your standard like to love Ru or Makin Ki or Sora no Toshimono and you know, right. all that good stuff. But when you have a real love story like what would ha- what happened in Actually, even police teacher isn't. Well, he didn't have. Yeah, he had a multiple choice. He had the teacher and his his uh his female friend. Oh yeah, that's true. But I don't think he had much of a choice after like what episode three or something. Well, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just saying the choice was he didn't really have a choice in that one either because he yeah. immediately he already fell in love with uh, spoilers. He already <laughs> fell in love fell in love with uh a alien girl in Anamatsu Dematru by uh, earlier on. Yeah. Hell, even freezing is considered a harm, but he only had one girl. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. But it that's just because there girls. were a bunch of girls. Yeah, it, and was it wasn't he? He wasn't he like a special kind of uh He was sort of special, wasn't he? Just because yeah, he didn't charge anybody, but I mean, yeah, like his sister or something, or yeah, he has like his all sister's of them talent. Still had po- all all of them still had uh uh partners. That's I think. true. Well, but, I don't uh, remember. I haven't watched it in a while. <laughs> Well, so we know, so we know the, the like the standard minimum here. Now, is there, now, draw. I know, I know you and I have discussed this quite a bit. Like, is there a maximum? Like, is there just like a straight up like max yes. like number, or just like a general like, idea of like this too much? T- it's too much boob. Too much boob. Now, in my go, personal, this goes for everyone too, huh? And this, I mean, and this goes for everyone too as well. Right, right, right. Uh. In my personal opinion, opinion, I think five to six should be the max. Because after that, it becomes cumbersome to keep up with everybody. <laughs> like you think it's too many characters to keep up with as a viewer well, and oral? It's too many people to care about. Because like, cause here, here's my philosophy. There's always going to be a character that the main character... Like, there's always going to be a character or like one or two or three characters that he actually likes and then everybody else is just kind of there. Right. In the case with uh where at least I believe with um to love Ru, where he has like what 15 girls or something. Mm probably. Hold on. I'm going to look up that specific statistic, but go on. But all right, so spoiler alert. I guess I don't know. To love Ru's a good. That that's a that's a 10 year well, hold on. That's that's a 10-year-old anime. Yeah, fuck you guys. So... It's no spoiler alert. <laughs> Well, I guess Something you got like it anyway. But anyway, so Sorry, main character old. Rito, he he's in love with this girl from his school, right? Haruna, I think her name was. Um, Don't quote and, on these, you know, he was planning on confessing, but the day he was going to confess, uh, this alien girl named Lala fell into his bathtub from space, and I she since she saw since he saw her naked, now he has to marry her or whatever. So. As time goes on, he starts to develop develop feelings for Lala, mm-hmm. and as and also as the show goes on, more and more girls start to fall in love with him. 
because, you know, main character. Even though, you know, he's pretty fucking just, I don't know. We'll, we'll get in we'll get in a, like, <laughs> like, MC's why some main, like some main characters in Harlem suck. Because, like, like, they just legit suck. But, you know, we'll get into that later. But like I said, he, he genuinely likes the two of them because he got he, he got to learn more and more about Lala and, if anything, has the most contact with her outside of Harmony, who he are originally liked. So I understand why he would start to develop actual feelings for Lala. Right. But then you start getting all these other girls, his fucking cousin, sister, whatever, this fucking ghost sister. girl, this whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, this girl that turns into a guy anytime he sneezes. We get darkness. Darkness might be an actual candidate, but I don't really think so. I mean, I haven't watched the third season, but by the second season, you know, well after she showed up, there's no real development between them. Now, granted, third season is Hello for Darkness, so there's a lot more about her, but I don't yeah. know if I, I highly doubt that the relationship developed outside um, of just friendly fr like friendly developing i mean i know I'm, she developed feelings for him yeah but like it i don't think it's the same i don't think he feels the same way he feels about them as he does haruna and lala mm. that's just my whole thing like the more girls you get the less you're gonna love them and well i wouldn't say it's le i wouldn't say the, the less you love them it's just like it's like you said uh, earlier um you can only love so much right at a, right. at a certain point, you know, it's kind of like you can his... only romantically love so much. Exactly, because then you you have to like start, you know, because you know loving somebody also ha has to like deal with like you know um, getting actually you know getting comfortable enough to really get to know the other person as well. And if you're doing that multiple times, that can be quite strenuous on on the individual. Right. And now I'm not doubting his ability to be friends with them all. By all means, like you know. Do what you gotta do, because that's basically what's happening in I think what is it, the fourth season? Uh when Darkness Second. La Darkness Second, when um Lala's sisters, or really just Momo, start to push the harm route. Yeah, I mean that that was her idea anyway, so Right, that's her idea. So I mean, I get, you know, in the tradition of Lala's home planet that the king because because she's the princess of her home planet, so by marrying or being with uh, the main character, he's going to become the next king of this planet. And I, like, I get the whole idea that the king's supposed to have a harm. That's fine. But, like, because our main character is a normal dude, he still remains to be a normal dude, you know, he still only has real romantic feelings for the two people that we already said. Everyone else, he just, he specifically treats as a friend. He doesn't get like bashful around them unless something sexual is happening, which it usually is. Usually, they kind of literally <laughs> just throw him to that situation. He doesn't get like he doesn't get all stupid or anything. It's really only when with Haruna, and later on with Lala. Everyone else is just because of the situation, you know. So it's I don't think that. He has the romantic capacity to love all of them, just two of them, and he can barely do that because he's still he's still kind of trying. Uh, well, at least until that time, he was trying to decide, and I think even then he had his own views to decide. But he just went along with, "Yeah, I want everyone to stay together," because you know, again, friend he fr he friend zoned the majority of them, pretty much, but. Uh, like I said, Lala and Haruna are still, are still the apples of his eye. Yeah. So now, and going back to this, I, I, as of like to love Rude Darkness second, um, the number of uh, of of individuals in um, you uh, Rito's harem, mm -hmm. I'm getting be I'm getting between like uh, was it eighteen or nineteen? Jesus. Like side characters, and like four of, like five of them are like the main characters. Uh huh. And, but yeah, we're, we're pretty much like 18 and 19. Let's just say like 18 or something. 18, 18 in, in, in his harm at the moment. But see, that's a, again, yeah, you just hit the nail on the head. All of them don't matter. <laughs> two, like two, four of them matter. And the other, so let me see. Who? Um, let me guess the main four. So there's 
Haruna, Lala, Darkness. I don't um, know who the fourth one would be. Well, hold maybe on. Maybe Momo, maybe... I think Momo, but at least according, well, according at least according to the the Love Root Darkness second, the main ones here are Momo, Yami, Maya, and Rito. Oh no, it's only four. My bad. Wait, the four what? main, because I, I guess he, I guess uh, Darkness centers around the whole. Well, it centers around Yami and Maya, so that's why these two are the main characters, as well as Momo, because she's heavily involved right, in right. there, and, I got and you. Rito. I got you. Everyone right, else fair. became everyone else became supporting because I guess they don't have enough screen time. That's pretty much right. But I mean that's because of plot. Yeah, exactly. But generally, you'd have uh, Lala, Nana, um, Momo, and Haruna. What was that four, five, one, one, two? So L- Lala, three, Nana, four. Momo, and Haruna. In Haruna, yeah. So oh no, I don't even think Nana counts. So. Because they, ha- they haven't really developed her either. When right. It, when it, when it com- coming from Rito. Obviously, she started to develop. She's your classic tsundere. Right. But, like, I don't... But you, uh, Rito hasn't necessarily gotten anything... De- hasn't developed anything for Nana. So, it's mostly just Lala and Momo when it comes to the Devil Luke sisters. Right. So... But even... But, I mean, has he... Does he... Has he seemed to feel anything for Momo other than just, like... I don't know. This weird push that she's given. I mean, subconsciously, he does. <laughs> When he's asleep, what the whole popsicle thing? Uh, well, his his uh his nightly activity when he's unconscious. Oh, okay. That's what I'm referring to. What is that? Was just when he gropes around by accident? Not accident. It's like, was it sleep groping? If that's a thing. Okay. Well, <laughs> that sounds like he's a sleep groper. I'm a sleep groper. Are you? Probably. Yes. I mean, oh, I'm sorry that, you know, while in the middle of the night, I like to grab soft things. Normally, there's pillows, but, you know. No, you're right. Just saying. That's true. And so far, I guess, and going back, going back to this, I I don't I don't know if there's any other harm enemy that, like, pushes the whole, pushes 18. Because <laughs> at this point, I think... Uh, Negima might. Oh, yeah, Negima might. Well, it depends on depends on which version you're ta- which version you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, well, let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> there's like fuck. What? There's like three Nagima shows. Uh, two. Well, I think it's like two technically because one of them is like a second season of like the other one, which is a different version. Yeah. Right. Because there's Nagima and there's like the Maho Shoujo one, which is. Yeah, which is like that one is that one is more so that one is more so accurate to the manga and that thing I think that has two seasons as well. All right, well, yeah, there's a lot of Negima. Yeah, and basically well, he's got a, he's got a classroom full. He's got honest. a classroom of girls that like him, but you yeah. know, does that count? I think it counts. Like it counts. Yeah. It counts as a harm because they all like him. Yeah, I mean, like this, I and that's like that kind of like reaches. That's more than the class is more than eighteen people definitely. Right. Granted, in that case, he doesn't like any of them like that. No, you're right. That's that's. I think that's a thing too. Don't know. I think canonly he does like uh, the main girl, doesn't he? Uh, Isn't that but, wasn't that somewhere in the manga or something like I that? Mean, which version? I don't. Know, beside that. the fact, <laughs> beside the fact, the whole point is that when there's too many people get tossed aside. Even when there's like four or five, some girls get tossed to the side. Yeah. So like it's you can't really. Uh, like let let's look at a smaller example here. So let's for okay. example, Rosario Vampire is a classic. Oh yes, definitely. All the female characters like the main character, but he only has eyes for um fucking uh vampire chan. Whatever her name was. Right. Um <laughs> so and and everybody else is just kind of mostly there because they like him. And the reason why he doesn't, you know, other than being a little fucking bitch boy, he doesn't, you know, be be upfront about it. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's it's just it's it's hard to it's hard for anybody. Now, granted, there are some people that you know can do it. There's there there are people that are what is it? Uh, well, what's that the can word? Pull off a harm? That can pull off a harm. That want one. I mean, in real life, even then, there's people that are um. Uh, what is it? Uh, polyamorous. Um, that love multiple people. That love. I mean, there's polygamous. 
that's being well that's polygamous being... is marrying multiple people but polyamorous is mean that you love multiple people polygamy oh. could just literally be could literally be the exact same thing oh i'll marry i'll marry these 19 people but this one's my main one so um I'm, that that's that's just what i'm seeing but even know, then right. like you know you that's limited to like a couple people yeah you're right pretty much yeah i, I just looked up the definition it's uh the practice of or desire for intimate relationships with more than one partner with right. the consent of all partners involved. This is right. by uh, Wikipedia. Right. But even then, I feel like it's not extending to fucking 19 people. <laughs> and if it is, go go you. But I fucking doubt it. Like, yeah, I give it like a month or so, maybe. <laughs> right, exactly. And it, like shit, shit just falls apart, especially if everyone's trying to fucking consent to it. That doesn't really happen. The reason why yeah. we can give it, get, do it in anime is because, you know, they're not real. That's true. Now, how about how, what if you had, what if you had a reversed? They had, you had nineteen dudes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> in this case, I mean it's it's the same concept. I mean, again, I haven't seen that I many more fights, um, though. harm anime, but or reverse harm anime. So I don't know if they typically follow the oh she owns she, there's a main guy that she likes, but everyone else is there. Um, I mean, uh, you mind if I jump in here for jump in yeah, here for a second? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Uh, in terms of in terms of that, like my okay, my only experience so far has been, uh, uh, well, yeah, three technically. It's been uh, Oran High School Host Club, classic mm-hmm. anime everyone knows about, as right. well as uh, the one called Kiss Him Not Me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kiss Him Not Me, and maybe one episode of One Room, but that, that's that's weird. So I'm not, I'm gonna cut that one. But yeah. in a specific case, like um, I guess in the case like uh, Kiss Him Not Me, uh. All the guys essentially uh, were, you know, did the whole usual thing, aggressive towards her and all that. But in this yeah. case, she wasn't necessarily gunning for one guy. In this case, and in in, the, in her case, actually, she was she she only like kind of liked one other dude because he kind of resembles uh, his husbando from her favorite anime. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That one where she was like she was Fat. big, but then she fucking. Like didn't eat weight. for a week and then lost all the weight and got hot. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Right, that's super. And... <laughs> that's super great message to young girls around the world. Right, but it, but in that case though, that's that's like uh, that was that's that's one of the, that's one of the case at least in this case where reverse harm where she wasn't gunning for anybody and it was more so all uh, like I guess in this case all the guys were kind of like trying to sell themselves at this point mm-hmm. to which one. Uh, to which one she would uh, end up with, and in the manga, she actually ended up she ended up did choosing one. I don't want to spoil it, but um, it's it's one character which I was actually uh, hoping for as well. Mm-hmm. But um, in terms of the like, differences, the only difference in this one is just there was not as many. What is it? Uh, I guess romantic specific like specific romantic pursuits is because she wasn't necessarily. I mean, she didn't even like. If, if anything, she didn't even like being in a relationship in the first place. She was more into BL as a as a thing for her to observe, right. rather than, <laughs> rather than getting to a relationship herself. Mm-hmm. So already a completely completely different ballpark. She she if anything, she wanted to see the guys go at it with each other rather than with her. So and to my knowledge, again, I don't know much about fruit ba- fruit basket, but there was a what all the boys were living together because they had that weird. It was like spell, thing right? where I think what is it, if they get hugged they get turned into animals. Yeah, like they're all animals of like the forest and they become human at some point. Yeah. Well, that's like and a back and forth. She moved in as a uh, housekeeper. Um. But I don't know. I mean, I imagine all the all the guys, fo- uh, you know, were most of the guys were coming after her. At least two of them were. Right, but did um, she did she have any kind of like a specific? Did she that I'm go not towards specifically sure. one person? No, I mean it's it's tagged as a romance anime. Right, I mean it's also supposed to be a classic romance anime as well. Right. So. So imagine she chose one of them, but uh, I don't think actually it's not even listed as a fucking harm. Oh, is it? <laughs> no. Okay. Maybe she only. Maybe she only liked one of them, but all the other guys were just there. Maybe. Huh. Yeah, I guess maybe that's the. Maybe that's the whole thing. She only just likes one of them, and every other guy's just there. 
That's interesting. Okay. Well. But yeah, like well, uh, okay. So we, we, we talk about okay, comparisons. I guess right reverse here. harms are a little different. A little bit different. I mean, also depends on like the motivation, and all that stuff. Because like, um, or in a high school host club. Actually, no. She didn't. She wasn't getting for anyone either. Either. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Not in particular, but the main the main guy fell in love with her, and yeah. then they eventually then she, then then eventually she fell in love with him. Exactly. So I think the main I think the the main difference here is that. If like if uh, so, in reverse harm, the main kid doesn't necessarily have a, a, a an initial crush on somebody. It mm-hmm. ends up being just like who, who like who better fits her needs, I guess. Like, right. In terms of like who she wants to see with being with somebody, which is it's quite normal actually to be to say the least. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> pretty normal. Normal I mean, development. <laughs> most, I mean, I mean, look at real life. Most, you know, most girls that are have. I, I guess you want to say appeal. Uh, I don't want to say common appealing characteristics, but like, you know, if if multiple guys find you attractive, they're all gonna come after you. But if, mm-hmm. uh, you know, multiple girls find one guy attractive, I mean, they do come after him, but it's still it's different, you know. Yeah, because he because it's usually the guy. At least in, in most harm anime, it's usually the guy already has a. Like a crush on someone prior to prior to the harm being started, right? Usually, there's situations like, uh, like high school DxD. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, what is it? Shingeki? No, no, not that one. What is it? <laughs> no testament, something like that. Oh, uh, no te- yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I just I just scrolled past that. A while ago. It's pretty. Oh, uh, well, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 etchy. How about um um Korea Zombie Desuka? Well, he already li- yeah that's that's another one. And then, but there are cases where the main character doesn't like any of the girls until like later on, such as um I get technically Zero no Sukaima. He falls in love with Louise later on. I think in, at the end of season one or yeah that's uh, true. season two or in the middle inf- of season two. Uh, infinite. Str- oh no, infinite. How about Infinite Stratos? I didn't watch Infinite Stratos. Oh, okay, well, I don't remember any. I don't think he. Remember, I don't remember anything here. How about Mock and Key? No, Mock and Key. He was already. He's a pervert, but he oh. he's actually in love with uh, his childhood friend. Okay. So he likes titties, but also his <laughs> childhood friend. <laughs> I mean, why not both, right? I mean, she had titties. She was his childhood friend. Or how about this classic? Then how about this classic example? Then in this case, Nisei Koi. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Raku, Nisekoi, that's the one with the the gangster one, and then. All right, no, no, look, that one was just, all right. So okay, yeah, he he, that I don't like Nisekoi. Is is it because of the choice he made? No, that just made me like it less. <laughs> okay, it, I didn't like it because it felt shallow. Uh, okay, oh. Well, Explain. Is, I'm actually kind of curious about that. This How is a so? side bit. So he originally liked uh, like liked this one girl. Uh, this wasn't. This was not even based off this whole thing where like, oh, the the girl that has the key to this locket that I have is, you know, I promised I was gonna marry her when I was younger. Like, who gives a shit? That's <laughs> back then. He right. was in love. With, he he was falling for this girl this whole time. You know, she he liked her. It was great. She liked him. We got we immediately knew that in the first episode that she liked him. Mm-hmm. And they just had to like you know get there. You know, but. Then this whole locket business came up, and like three more girls showed up. Granted, uh, he had a bigger situation with uh, the other girl because he was in a rival gang and she was in a rival gang. But but the base, but they're but the, both their fathers were best friends and all that. Right, and so they wanted to get them married to um, uh, to to unite the gangs. So they had to pretend that they were together. And I mean, I don't. I think I I think I know who we chose. But I don't want to spoil that because I haven't personally watched it. I'm still kind of curious what you what you mean by the whole shallow bit of the whole. It's shallow musical. because he held off on. Uh, I mean, outside of the gang thing, he held off on confessing his feelings for this girl because of the locket thing. That fucked him up 100. percent I don't think it's much for shallow. I think he's just dumb at that point. Oh yeah, he's shallow. That's some shallow shit. You based you based who you cared for off this locket thing. Right, over, unless what, a ten-year-old par- promise. Right, and unless I could be wrong, that the girl that actually held had 
key to the locket wasn't the girl he chose, then I'd be like, all right, fine. Um, I mean, from what I can say without spoiling it, at a certain point, the locket didn't matter anymore. Which and that then and then he chose what he who he chose because he chose who he chose not 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 from not from the locket but his feelings. Okay. Well, it's still pretty shitty though, cause like the locket essentially stagnated the rest of his development. Right. For cause I I would cause I'm person I'm personally on 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 his uh, childhood friend team, personally. Uh, I mean I don't know who was the actual childhood friend. <laughs> oh, apparently okay. he was he was childhood friends with all of them. Oh yeah. <laughs> We just don't know who he promised to marry. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, the first girl then. That's 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 my that's right. m- that's my team. That I was one hundred percent on that team, and maybe even the 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 bodyguard girl because I liked her. Oh, uh, the one the the one who we thought was a guy. Yeah, she was fun. Yeah, she was. She was quite fun. But the other two, I just didn't care for. <laughs> one, because I don't I don't care for Sundarays, and two. Um, uh, Mrs. Uh, Jumpin' Mavaj Chan. <laughs> just, I mean, normally I like characters like that, but it was just something about her that I did not like. I mean, she was sick, Jerron. You have to, you have to like, you know, she's just trying to live life now, you know, be able to enjoy her life because she was very sickly as a child. Oh, she couldn't have a fun oh, childhood. I'm trying to bring on a sob story here, Jerron. Oh, my God. <laughs> Give a fuck. All right. Well, I mean, go, going going into something like that. So, like, okay. So, in terms of like main characters of like harm animes, there's only how do you, uh, do you think there are like specific categories? I think there's only I, three. To me, I don't think there's only like three kind of there's, categories. Roughly. You're right. There's three. Di- there's three different kind of kind of categories. There's the punk ass bitch main character. There's the hey I'm cool main character, and then there's the one. There's the other group of main characters that are. Are just different from the other two completely. Like different, or like different in terms of like just characters, or just like just they're kind of fluke. They kind of it's, it was more of a fluke. They they got into a harem. Kind of a fluke, but also like because they have actual personality. Oh okay. Because all right, so let's let's take a let's the most basic idea that I can think of with the I'm a you know I'm a little bitch kind of main character mm-hmm. is the main character from Kenicon, uh main character from To Love Ru. Um, uh, who else? Um, let's see, let's see. Um, how would you describe, how do you describe, like, the little bitch character, main ca- MC, in this it's, case? Like, just, like, incompetent one, you mean? Like, he's just... The incompetent one, like, I get that, you know, you got all these women thrusting themselves upon you, so it's a little intimidating, and I don't know how, you know, what tradition is in Japan. You know, I don't know, I don't, I can't claim to know their culture. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we are weebs, but you know, we can only we can only claim so much before we're called right. on. I, I claim to know the anime. I can't claim <laughs> to know the culture. <laughs> exactly. We're n- we're not that degenerate yet. So right, right, exactly. We haven't we haven't been to Japan yet to really proclaim ourselves as such. But when <laughs> you get this person that's just so damn timid to the exact same thing happening over and over, it it just bothers the living hell out of me. Like, okay. So again, uh, with Rito and his nineteen girls, he gets in sexual situations with them every goddamn episode. And I think the timeline spans his first and second year in high school. Yeah, for the anime. So yeah. he's had two years to deal with this. Now, granted, in the long run, that's not a long time. I mean, but also when it, it's every damn day. I mean, if you also kind of consider it, like in those two years, it also kind of, like his his. Because it wasn't nineteen at, at you know all the same time. It was like three, and then it kind of multiplied as time went on. You're so right. It kind of you know it kind of as time went on, so did the 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 amount of girls he had to deal with in those situations. But you would get so used to that, <laughs> like I get, so if if so I, I don't understand know, the, fir- the first time the first time you know it gets it's it's weird. I get it. I get it. You act the way you're gonna act. Sure. And then you know when new girls get introduced and you get in situations with them, sure I get it. You know new new person new. New problems. Feeling, I guess. <laughs> but when it's the same person, so like getting in situations with Lala, someone who doesn't exactly get embarrassed about things. Right. May, very rarely does she. Especially when it deals with her tail. Yeah. But like anytime you get in a situation with her, after the first year, you just kind of feel like, I mean, I get it, Lala. <laughs> I mean, I get it. <laughs> we, you know? <laughs> like, what do you want from me? 
what more? Like, how can you? Is is it because he never changes? Is that you know? That's what I'm just saying. But like, it's because of that kind of shit that just bothers me. And then in Canacon, I mean, granted, he's depicted. He's actually depicted as a you know a, a super shy small child kid. I mean, he's- and High he's, schooler. He's the Shoda of that series. Right, he's the Shoda. So I get it, but it's still infuriating all the same. I mean, and then he's, the, he's two he's two letters away he's two letters away from from Shoda. His name is Koda, so he's pretty right. much he's that character. That's a good point. Um, let me think. Uh who How about else? um how about um what's his name? Um Fat Dude from Excel World. Again, I haven't watched Excel World, and I don't know if he exactly had a harm. Well, I know had, there was two, his, there was his had, friend, and then there was the butterfly girl. And there's also the little the lowly as well. I don't know who that is. Oh, that was the Red King as well. Yeah, technically, that should count. It's not it's not on the list, but technically that I thought that should count because he ended up having like a mini harem. Okay. Technically, but I remember I remember your comment about it was like he was just a. Uh, at least he was pathetic in the beginning. Yeah. Right. But that's that's because they su- they set him up to be super pathetic. Right. Uh, there's a main character from Love Hina. All right. Well, he was just he was just he just didn't know what to do. He was just kind of. <laughs> yeah, but still, like you don't you wouldn't learn. I mean, probably not if you're a college student. Well, he was he was a college student, right? He was trying to get into Tokyo U. Yeah. And he kept failing. <laughs> I mean, if I was him, I'd probably be stressed at that point. I'd be really I mean, stressed. Yeah, he's stressed. I get it, but like he does, like, all right. Spoiler alert: Love Hina's fucking ancient. Uh, he <laughs> he fell in love with Hina, the main, the fucking girl in the title. Mm-hmm. And I guess I wouldn't say the other girls fell in love with him. I think the kids like the the two little girls like. Well, one of the little girls liked liked him, and I think the samurai girl started to like him, but. He really only had eyes for Hina. All the other girls were just kind of just there, just kind of there as characters, which is fine. I'm fine if they're there for additional like characterization for Dynamic. themselves and not right. because they're in the har- harm. Mm-hmm. But like he was also a little bitch because he just it took him three seasons. <laughs> no, you're right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> was it three seasons? Hold on, let me see. There's Love Hina. There's Love Hina again. And then, and then there's Love Hina f- Final Selection. Unless that was an o- unless that was an OVA. Apparently, it, t- it took a long ass time. Then it took a long to time. In fact, like you can't even count this as like um. Well, I guess maybe it didn't take that long because uh, what was it um? She was Hina was also trying to get into Tokyo U. Yeah, so they you know, they had that commonality between them. Right, so I guess it maybe it was a couple years for them as well, but still, it's just it's a lot of episodes to go through. It's just it. He he doesn't even try that. I mean, he tries, but he doesn't try. You know, they like try enough. He doesn't try enough. I mean, there's there's a couple shows like that, but then now that I'm really thinking about it, I think the majority of characters fall into, "Hey, I'm cool." kind of main character. Well, it's either, hey, I'm cool, or just like, hey, I'm normal to some Hey, I'm degree. normal, right. So, like, uh, Kirito. Rito, what? Oh, I was going to say, like, Kirito was, like, kind of falls in that normal route. Kirito will fall into the normal route. Uh, fucking... What's his face? Uh, um, uh, I should know. Do you think, um, guy from, uh, World Golly Knows? He, I would put him... In the other category, like the quirky kind, because he <laughs> he goes after the girls, right? I mean, he he pursues the harm. He well, pursues the harm. He has yeah. to. So I understand that. And then, but he has his own story. You know, he has a, he has his own circumstances. He's kind of well. I would put him in the third category, but he's more in a fourth category because his harm's not permanent. Normal. Well, yeah. You're right. I mean, and he it, and he does end up choosing one girl in the end as well too. But right. no, but they all, but they all end up like, sort of remembering him. So it's sort of a sort mini of, part. but they don't like him. Well, they, just, they don't remember it. They don't remember like him. They don't remember. They don't remember liking him. Right. Yeah, they don't remember liking him. <laughs> right, but they. Wait, they don't. Uh, no, they don't remember the entire conquest. Yeah. 
or save a, save for a few. But that, yeah. again, that's because of their own special circumstances and story, pretty much. Right, but the, uh, so he's he's kind of a side because he doesn't count per se. I don't know. Mm, I mean, it's on the list. <laughs> that's why. That's why. I, I mean, no, it, it is a harm <laughs> anime by all means. He is going after multiple girls, but right. because of the way it's set up, mm-hmm. it's not a harm harm until later on, anyway. All right. How about the, how about the uh, what is it? Um, uh, turn my uh, boring girlfriend into the proper proper heroine. Heroine. Oh, he would he would be he would be a he's cool. a cool one. I'm cool. Hey, I'm cool. He's he's pretty normal. Actually, I wouldn't even call him normal. I don't know why they like him. He's just, <laughs> other than the fact that he's dedicated and they have history with him. They all have history with him, actually. They're all kind of well, except um, the main girl, except, obviously. Yeah. They all have they all have history with him, essentially, besides her. Right. So that's really the only reason they like him, and even then, with the history, I feel like it's just because of his dedication to. Hmm. Like the game and all that. Yeah, they they feel how dedicated he is, and and they respect that, which is why they like him. I I can I get that. Yeah. You know, I, I sh- can. What. I mean, this is probably like the one, like one of the other harems I actually genuinely enjoyed in terms uh-huh. of like seeing the character actually do his thing with everyone else. Same, same. I I would agree with you, but he still fall falls under Ham hey, Cool because he has one trait that they like. Mm-hmm. It's either with the Ham hey, Cool category. Well, I guess both the first and the second category. Um, it usually falls under Hey, I'm dedicated to whatever I like, or Hey, I'm nice to you. Those are usually the only two reasons that these characters get a group of girls following them around, or for whatever reason in their history. Yeah, pretty much. Though, I mean, uh, I guess in the case of, like, Mayo Chiki. Oh, right. Would that be because he's dedicated and he's, he's nice? I just think he was in the wrong bath in the wrong time. Well, that too, <laughs> but... Like just bad timing, like, uh, well, I mean, are we are we trying to like, well, where where, where are we where are we at right now in terms of like main characters at this point? Well, we're we're at the ham hey, cool part. We're trying we're trying okay. to just give paint a clear picture of like what this means. It's like so our, the the very very basic idea is like Kirito. Why yeah. did why did uh well we know why Asuna fell in love with him because they you know he I mean, kind of forced a contact with her while she was feeling super fucking you know lonely and loner and shit. Not just and that, they, but they were, they were both also, what, uh, frontliners also. So they were, they were both of the same rank, essentially. Right, and they, they, kept, they kept having run-ins with each other. They were around the same age. It's kind of bound to happen. But why mm-hmm. did Blacksmith girl fall in love with him? Why did why did uh, uh, Lolly girl fall in love with him? Why did Sheena fall in love with him? He's Other nice. than, hey, I'm cool <laughs> and I'm nice. <laughs> exactly. How about um, Issei from... Um, Issei falls in the category yeah. of the third uh, in the third category because he's not cool. <laughs> I mean, he is cool. He is nice. Right. But you think perversion is not cool? Him in the, what? You think perversion is not a cool thing? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cool. <laughs> you think it's cool? <laughs> you're your first guys. <laughs> but don't do something that we probably wouldn't be able to do in right. real life anyway. That's that's. Right. Let's keep 2D in 2D, right? Right. That's that's where it needs to remain, unless we get you know like, unless you unless you buy yourself a doll that looks like you know your waifu, and it's like one you know one of those high tech sex blocks that actually look fucking great and are super thick. But you know that's a that's another topic for another time. Yeah, we're not sponsored by that way, so. Right. <laughs> if you want to spot, no, don't sponsor us. <laughs> they're gonna send a they're gonna send a big ass package to your house around oh my god product I, test. I, I wouldn't know what to do. Uh, like if I. <laughs> Saw who that was from. I'm like I can't open this. I can't. I literally cannot open this. <laughs> even when I'm, if I, even when I end up living alone, I can't. I literally fucking. I. Well, I the, don't know if I could bring myself to do it. What well, you think? The moment you open that, you open the box, you're pretty much giving up your entire humanity at that point. Yeah, you <laughs> really are. I don't know, Jerry. I think you, you can, you can, you can, you can be a god and still live amongst the people. <laughs> <laughs> you right. I'm just, just saying, you know. Well, I've already proclaimed this on the podcast before. If I hit if I hit level forty before uh uh and I don't I'm and I'm not in a like 
decent relationship or like not about to be in one or whatever like that, then I'm probably gonna get one if I have the money. I mean, you could just be a monk with me. We can, we can, we could uh, think uh, about. I, look, Miguel. I mean, look, Jamal. <laughs> I have to. I have to put my dick in something. I mean, Sorry. see, I can't. I can't. When, I that's... can't do it to you, no matter how cute you are. Hey, you know what? That's, that's when you give up ex uh, worldly desires, Jaron. You can be a monk with me, and we can live no, out in the mountains no, and I'm really experience the wanna. We can experience anime and and the love of it through uh, artistic. Uh, contact, you know, no. with our minds, not with our bodies. No, you can't enjoy <laughs> high school DX. Well, you can enjoy high school DXC without your body, but uh, exactly. Because you know why we are men of culture. We are ones of, of, of I want to minds. enjoy it with my body, so <laughs> that's the problem. All right. Well, getting getting back getting back to that. So, okay. So in terms, okay. So in terms of that, that because th the third category, we don't have much of a a kind of a distinct. It's, it's just like. Like they're just quirky at that point, right? Well, yeah, they're. I would say, not so much quirky, but they have more personality than just either. You know, hey, I'm nice and I'm cool. There you go, guys. Perversion is a personality. Perversion is a personality. I, I, yes, he Issei from High School DxD. He has the I'm nice and I'm perverted category going on. Now they probably like him because he's nice. Mm. He's also dedicated, which I'll give him that. But like. Yeah. The reason why I personally have a problem with characters that are only, hey, I'm cool and I'm nice, is because cool isn't, it, it's a personality, but it's not a enough of a personality. I don't know. It's I like a it's, half personality. I mean, I th I think I see it's more like it's like it's pretty much as normal as I guess. Like, it's more relatable, to be honest with you. It's much more I mean, relatable. maybe, but like... I just want to like break, I just want to like, you want to break down the normality of it. And see something a lot different than what you normally want to see. Well, when I when I say like this is what I'm saying, like I guess specifically, it's when they talk to these to the girl, the female characters. There's no chemistry, you know. You know what I mean by ke like chemistry between the the main character and his and his heroines? There's no. There's either like either in, he's in, talking in about. In, in a, a harm, harm setting or individually? In in a harm set. Well, in, individually with his the girls in his harm. Okay. There's no like actual like dialogue that doesn't relate to the story somehow or like it's them fawning over him. Cause look at look at um look at uh look at uh fucking uh SAM. Okay. He does have conversations with uh, Asuna. Right. About their lives and shit like that, and that's fine. I get that, you know. They're both very normal people, but but with the blacksmith girl and the dragon tamer girl and Shion. Now, granted, him and Shion did have a lot of time to talk during uh, Gun Gale, mm -hmm. um, but uh, Kirito and blacksmith girl had one interaction. Uh, Kirito and dragon tamer girl had one interaction. And that both of them fell in love with them. That's not enough. I don't. That's not enough to say like, oh yeah, he. That makes sense that you like him. You know. All right. Okay. How about um? Okay. How about how about going going in that going in that same category? Um, Monster Masumune or Musumune. That one I would also say counts as hey I'm. Cause he, as yeah, much as I like the main character, he's still kind of a little bitch. Oh, is he because... really? I thought it was I more mean, like a, just a cool, you know, just I am. He, oh, I'm nice. He so. is, but like, is he, he not, is he not active active enough in terms not, of? He he isn't active enough. Cause think, cause here's the thing. Here's the thing. All right. He, he it's very slightly hinted that he does want to do things with these girls. Right. Yes, he gets a bear, sure. And it's revealed in the manga that he gets like super nervous when things get too sexual, which is weird to me. Cause like, how do you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Duran, when you see when you when you see like an egg just kind of just pop out of a of a all harpy, right, you kind of right, 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 think... right, fair enough. <laughs> things get a little dicey, Duran. Right, fair bit. enough. Or but even like, like skin shedding, or yeah. But like you 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 see, you get like little tidbits of him actually liking the girls. Like, you see little things where he, you know, he, do, he does have some affection for Mia. You see some mm. things where he has some affection for Centauria, for mm. Arachne, for... I don't think he has any for Sue or, um... 
the harpy poppy poppy there you go or even um uh fucking Mer- Mer- merle what's her name oh the mermaid uh um, mermaid uh i'm just gonna i'm name? i'm just pop popping out here uh la, 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 i don't remember name but it's poppy okay, he, keep ha- going, keep going. he show he shows some affection for them so oh, that, uh, that in Maroon. itself is fine. It's the showing of affection that is enough to like to make me like him, because most other characters in these kind of character categories don't show affection really at all, unless it's like again, Rito does. We know that he likes Haruna and Lala, right? But there's not enough like letting them know that he likes them, you know. Because, like, Mia, Centoria, and um, Arachne, I mean, I guess there was that, just that one case with Arachne. But, no, even even with uh, the Dulahan girl, like, he shows that, you know, yeah, I could, you know, I could see something happening. Because he, he, I think he straight up told her that, hey, when I die, yeah, we can be together or whatever. Because, like, she, that's the only time she really wanted to do anything with him. Okay, she... so, 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 okay, so I'm sort of kind of getting it now. So, from at least from from what I can see, there's like a bit of a pattern here. When when it comes to the three main categories, it all depends on how much affection they show to their to to the to the girls, in this case. Right, and in the case so. of the third category, that's where you get the majority of the shown affection. Yeah, because they're you know as majority of them are perverts, but that's a lot of you know feelings being portrayed and conveyed conveyed to. Right, exactly. Like you, you know that the main character likes him instead of just being inside the main character's head, knowing that you like them. Yeah, it's like you can, like you can hear it from from the mouth from the main MC himself. Right, and I, I, I like that, and like I just I don't like the whole beating around the bush or just being like oblivious to everyone liking you. Because then, I mean, I get the point that yeah, it's great to have people like you. I mean, that's the point of the show. I get that. That's fine. Right. For a uh, good example of that would be uh fucking uh data life, data life. Right. He doesn't particularly show any interest in them. He just has to because of because they're gods or whatever. Well, yeah, and he's sort of like the only hope of of humanity for some reason. Right. So it's like, I mean, I I get it having a be just having I guess your pick of a bunch of girls without really committing to any one of them is great and all. I get that, but like, you know, it's. I feel it's better when the main character actually likes them, or you get actually get a feel for the main character's tastes instead of yeah. just, oh no, I, you like... fell on my face with your underwear. <laughs> 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 no, it's happening again. I can't. You know, <laughs> it's it gets like it gets so you tired. so you so you want them to be like it's so it's so it's it's a way where you want them to be honest honest with themselves. Yeah, honest with themselves. That's. That's 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 the shit I crave in, in shows. Like that's why I love Ito from uh High School DXD. He knows what he wants. The reason why I'm I would allow him to have fucking twenty thousand girls in his harem because you know, even if he doesn't romantically love them all, he's gonna try his damnedness. <laughs> he's gonna he wants the harm. He, Rito doesn't want the harm. He it's just thrust upon him and he's like, Okay, I guess. <laughs> Rito, uh, 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 Ito from High School DxD is like, yes, fuck me up with it, fam. Isn't it Issei or Iso? I don't know. It's... Rit- Rito, uh, I, Rito I from Tlovru. Uh, is, is main character think... from Tlovru, main character from High School is DxD since their names sound too similar. Is it, I think it's Issei, if I remember correctly. Is Hold it on. Issei? E- yes. Don't quote me on that. I'm... You're right. I think it's I think it's Issei. So Issei from High School DxD wants his harm. And he tells you that every damn episode. He tells you that in the I first episode. Huh? And once, isn't he also? Isn't he? He's pretty. He's, he's pretty outspoken then in that first episode too. Right, he's outspoken in the first line of the ep- of the <laughs> anime. Fucking the first thing he says, like, I want, I want some titties. Like, <laughs> like I'm like, all right, I can, I, I'm behind this guy. I get it, <laughs> you know. And he shows his affection for these girls. Like he, and he has like different like levels of love for all the girls that are technically in his harem. Mm-hmm. I guess in his harm, like the 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 priest girl, he has like a very innocent love with her because she's an innocent type character. He has a very lust like kind of like uh oh oh you know oh daddy you know oh like oh mommy kind of, kind of I 
thing with uh, uh Rias, Grimmery. Mm-hmm. And he has a the Oni Chan, uh, come get the suck, kind of thing, kind of like oh she she might be a bit too much with me from uh the other girl the 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 one with the ponytail. Oh okay. And I don't I haven't seen far enough to see the relationship between him and the uh, Kuro Neko because mm-hmm. she starts to open up later on. I haven't seen that far. But I don't so but I, I would imagine I give it up to Issei to <laughs> to figure it out, you know? He's my boy. So so coming from that same sentiment, like I know you love this anime too, but this this pretty much is in the, is in the opposite spectrum of, of of this chart here where we're going you know, if we're going into uh Hanagai. Hanagai was uh Um Tomodachi Tomodachi uh, right. friends. Well that's because he he falls into the little bitch category. Yeah, that's like again yeah, again he's the exact opposite. Right. Des- despite his, uh, you know, mis- despite the harm and all that. Right. Despite despite the harm, he. That's because, his de- that's because his actions were deliberate on his end as well. Right. He deliberately pushed them away because he, you know, he wasn't confident in himself. And I mean, basically, the entire club that they formed was because they were they all had some sort of social handicap. So I understand that doesn't forgive it. It just. It just. Like by the end, also the way that it just kind of happened, it just, just kind of bothered me. You know, it was too casual. It was like, yeah, you know, I actually kind of fucking like, you know, I just, well, not on not on his part. One of the girls confessed to them just kind of super cat, super casually, and he's like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what was that? I guess I gotta have to go over there. All right, he's oh, yeah. fucking. <laughs> by the way, someone at thirty isn't that? By the way, so. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, it really can't because. Uh, what's her face disappeared? Didn't she? Yozura, she did. Yozura. Well, yeah, she did. But you know, there's still a story to go over that. Right. Like, I mean, again, it's best of a light novel, but you know, who wants right. to read? Right. No one reads here. <laughs> but okay. But so, but you know, moving on, moving on a little bit here. So as so as far as like the affection, you know, this this scale kind of goes off based on affection at this point, right? So it's yeah. more like uh, it's definitely based on affection. Another another case is uh, what's his face from Sora no Chiyomoto. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. I I forgot to mention. Yeah, I was gonna mention him too. A little our little little pervert boy. So, yeah, you know, <laughs> pervert because you know, constantly. Uh, well, ironically enough, the per the whole no pervert the whole pervert uh character type is actually you know the most exp- the more expressive when it comes to like emotions and all that stuff. Yeah, which I find hilarious. So, but what's what do you what do you think, Jerome, when when I, mean, I know I know the idea of harm anime is supposed to be you know you got you know, one character surrounded by many of the opposite sex right 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 right, right. now do you how do you, how do you think a harm do you think a harm anime changes in dyna- changes in dynamic when when they actually either choose one person out of the harm or not well it does change the dynamic because well what what do you mean choose like do you mean like choose as in all right there's all these other girls but I really like her. You mean they actually confess to them and they get together, or do you mean they just yeah. like them? No, no, as in like at a certain point they actually do choose one girl out of all of them that that they confess to, and they both confess to each other. Unfortunately, and... that's so rare <laughs> that there are not many examples, unless it happens at the very end of the anime. There's one I. It's Let's see, something... um... Mashiro Symphony of Col- Colors. Oh yes, well that one was that weird. One. That happened. That happened because well, that one was weird because that was a uh, what is it? That was an arc based anime. So well, arc based. The entire anime chose one arc, but it ch- cho it didn't choose the arc we all thought it was gonna choose. Yeah, exactly. I should, but I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the arc he did. I ju- I did enjoy the uh I I did like his his decision though. Right. No. Case. Yeah. She she was she was my top pick. <laughs> but like in that situation, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. You know, they all had feelings for him, and when he finally confessed for one, confessed to one, um, the harm just kind of dissolved. I mean, they yeah. were all still friends, but it wasn't like nowhere it's... near as together yeah. as they once were. Because remember, the 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 thing holding the harm together is the person in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about this end? I think I, I think I already formed that question weirdly. I think what I what I really want to ask at this point is like, do you think? I mean, you know, if if a, if an anime is you know generally going to be a horror anime, do you do you think that there should be a choice 
at a certain point? I mean, I think a horror anime could definitely survive either way. I mean, it's depending on survived you know, for like four seasons. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, it can it can survive depending on how it does it. You know, if it, there's developing, if you know, there's a the harm, and then there's him developing feelings for these characters as you know seasons go on, and then he finally chooses. You know, that's an that's an option. Uh, I guess a good example of that would be. Uh, I mean, Sao does it. Xao does it, but I mean, like, like when I what I mean is like choose at the end. Oh, at the end. Uh, mm. yes. Yeah. Ooh, hold on. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Actually, that's a lot harder to. Well, Hina, love Hina. Love Hina. Yeah, okay, love Hina is an example. Yeah. He he can he's able to confess by the last couple episodes or so, and mm. the anime ends. But then there's there's quite a few more examples where the main character confesses like midway through the show or earlier on but the anime goes on still with the harm so an example is sao he everyone knew he was held over heels for asuna Mm -hmm. no 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 no, never mind he got his harm before they officially got together yeah but he still chose asuna in the end he still chose asuna but the girls still like him and yeah they're the truce apparently so (laughs) truce quote unquote (laughs) um there was Zero no Sakaima, which we talked about before, where he yeah. fell in love with uh, Louise. I mean, he did, he did choose her midway, so that's pretty much relatively established at that point. Right, it's well established, but it continues to go on in the harm route because all these other girls still show up and still try to seduce him. Mm-hmm. And while I 100% respect the main character for sticking with it, going for the the fucking flat-chested tsundere, <laughs> I can respect, you know, him sticking with his choices, even though there were clearly better options. Um, <clears throat> the mate, um... <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have different opinions here. Yes, we do. But, <laughs> you know, that's one of the situations where an anime can survive when there's a choice. So either or, it can, it can survive. I think it's better when he makes a decision, though, because I like to see developing relationships. Mm-hmm. And then them, the relationship kind of get getting poked and prodded along the way, yeah, to test true. how strong it is. So like poked and prodded, and like in uh, Koi to Uso, then or like, uh, not that poked and prod, <laughs> or like uh, Scum's Wish, or you know, <laughs> there's a difference between poking and then taking a chainsaw <laughs> and saying, "Hey, what's up? Wanna, wanna if I just cut right in here? Wanna, and... <laughs> you mean cuck right in?" <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Do you think NTR? Do you think NTR Duran is 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 ever gonna be part of the harem route or harem I, tag? I, I, that just breaks it apart. That literally destroys the harm. NTR destroys the harm. Cause think about it. Okay, thinking about it. All right, so let's see the situation. There's one guy surrounded by a bunch of girls. Okay. Now the NTR situation would be, uh, I guess him. Let's you know standard idea. He's we don't know who he really likes or whatever, and let's say he's developing feelings for all of them. Now the, those girls are starting to fall in love with other girl guys, or the guys are you know trying to take the girls away, and they right. succeed. That's NTRing him, the main character, or he How chooses the girl. He chooses the girl, and then well, yeah, exactly. School days is a great example of. <laughs> Of the bullshit that can happen when you introduce the NTR tag. He chooses a girl, he fucking cheats on her, and then he cheats on the girl he cheated on her with the original girl, and then it just gets all fucked up. Yeah. Technically, it's like I NTR herself into it, didn't she? Yeah, she did. <laughs> she fucking cucked the shit out of Kona- Katona, huh? So, uh, fuck that entire anime, except for <laughs> Katona, huh? She did nothing wrong. No, not at all. She deserved better. But then... (laughs) What? No, 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 go ahead. Then I was going to say that there are anime that are harms without the the main character, like, liking them at all. Like, just just a harm, then? It's just the girls 
around him, and I guess you can call them possibilities, but he shows no interest at all. Oh, so um, what is it? Uh, the perverted prince and the quiet in the quiet cat. That would or silent cat. Because he doesn't actually, you know, he doesn't necessarily fall in love with any of them. That's true. He kind of just like gets into this weird situation. And they all kind of have to figure it out together. That's true. And then they kind of go about life together in that way. That's true. That's true. There's that, and then there's uh one that I just saw. Fucking. Oh, um, choices. I thought he. Did he like? Did, only... he... Did he? I thought he like ended up liking somebody. Uh, I mean, one of the girls, well, two, two of the girls like him, but I don't think he ever, like, actually ever ch- chose. Yeah, actually chose, you know, given the whole choice anime thing. Right. Well, that was, <laughs> choices is, isn't a real anime. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm, 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 I'm team, hilarious. I'm team sensei all the way. I'm team jiggle joggers. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? Fucking... Uh, and uh, there was one more. Uh, uh, that one anime. Ah, oh, fuck. It was made by Trigger, surprisingly. Oh, uh, uh, Inner uh, Battle. Inner Battle. battle yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, just just a segue back a little bit. Another one that another one where he chose in the end was the uh, was it Orino Kanojo? Um. Uh, what's the English title of this? It's oh the it's Ore Shura, which is the one where like. Uh. Kid tries to get uh, kids get kids uh, diary gets found out by the silver haired girl and she's taking advantage of his uh, uh his uh eighth, eighth eighth grade syndrome. Oh right 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 he chose someone he chose someone in the end I don't want to spoil it, but he did choose someone in the end and in the anime too. Did I? Did you finish that? I don't. I could have sworn I did because that's the one where he like proclaimed that like, I will never fall in love because love sucks. Yeah exactly. And he's got that divorced. Was... That was my that was my role model for like a good two years. Right. Yeah, that dude, <laughs> that anime. Yeah, he did. Did he... I finish that? <laughs> did you, I mean he ended up again? I, I don't want to say much, but he did end up choosing somebody. So I don't also... remember who he chose. Oh fuck! I'm gonna have to watch that again. <laughs> it's Oreshura. Just right now, I'm looking at it. Okay. <laughs> fuck! I don't. I completely forgot who he chose. Cause that was, was that it? was a good one. That was a good think, one. No, no, actually, no. I think I remember. It was the uh, wasn't the, the didn't he choose pink hair girl? Yeah, you know, I mean, you can have to just rewatch it yourself. Yeah, I mean, it's just fucking real. <laughs> but yeah, in a battle was one of them where he didn't like anyone. Right. Um, Which was a horror anime where he just uh just to reconfirm that. What in a battle? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, their club was just them. And they yeah, all have powers. Just him and the other girls. Yeah. Um, I mean, but basically, the the whole idea is that it, it's it's harm animes can be good, and they can be bad. The bad examples are ones where I personally think are the ones where the main character beats around the bush too much, and none of the girls are interesting. True, and I mean, I mean, each category does have their own kind of bad anime, like the whole. I'm cool. One a bad one, a bad example of that will be uh, the smartphone anime. <laughs> that's part of it's on here. <laughs> that and the, probably the uh, the uh, even though I didn't I didn't watch I didn't watch either though I heard smartphone was awful. It was also mm. the uh, the fucking what is it? He goes to Val uh, the Norse mythology or something. Oh wait, uh, Campione? Not Campione. Uh, uh North mythology. Oh, it was wait. a recent one. Ah, oh, wait. Is it the is it Valkyrie? Valkyria? Yeah, that one. It is weird. I did watch like a few episodes. It is so weird. Yeah. Oh yeah, another one where he had a harm was uh, Ladies versus Butlers. That was a good one. That was a good one. I but, fucking uh, love Ladies versus but, Butlers. But he's on the but he's on the end where he doesn't show in, show a lot, right? But like he doesn't show a lot until the end. Yeah. So again, the, the, again, but there are there are good and bads of each category. Like we're not saying like the whole like the whole scale is not a good and bad scale. It's just that this is how it scales up to different. MCs and how it's how certain MCs can arrange, but neither side is a good or bad. You can have you can have a bad on each end. Like is there right. is, is there a bad uh you know uh passionate MC? Um, I'm trying to harm? think. I imagine there is, but I don't I I don't remember encountering one. 
Um, I don't. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't. I couldn't really place one because it, it's. It, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing about the third category. Usually, people in that third category have enough personality to at least carry the show if nothing else is going on. Well, that's true. Because, like, uh, I mean, say what you say what you want about High School DxD, but it's 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 funny watching a pervert <laughs> perv. I mean, right. you know, you can say, "Oh, it's disgusting," you know, uh, you know, it's just dehumanizing women. I'm like, blah, 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 it's fuck. Shut up. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> if you don't think it's funny, that's fine. But it's funny. Uh, that that's all I have to say. I mean, I I can't I honestly can't think of any one show. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of one that particularly does the whole. Um, he has a like he has a unique personality, but he still sucks. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how people feel about this one. I mean, I personally enjoyed it, but it's the Mangaka Son to Assistant Son anime. Right. But isn't that one? I mean, he's it's it's the it's the mangaka that's obsessed with just drawing panties in all of his manga, and then his assistant is he has I mean he has like a mini harm with like his assistant, all well, his assistants, and like oh no, I guess his assistants, yeah. That's the one where the main girls the the or the main character is that girl with the uh, she has orange hair but the red and white polka dot uh, bows in her hair. Uh no. I no. Don't. Oh no. Oh no no. I don't know what you're talking about. That's uh, no 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 Gizaki san. No no no, not that. Love that in the anime too. But not in the genre. Uh, it's manga uh, mangaka san to assistant san. I, mean, oh, I don't know. Right. I have not it. seen that one. I mean, it's it's counted on here as a horror man for some reason. Oh, I mean, it's because the main it assistant. Is a yeah, the, all the assistants are women. Even his. Oh no, there is one where I did there... not like the main character, but he had a he had a he had a. He had a harm and a unique personality. Okay. <laughs> there was the, that shitty one where he he was a he was a like a pro light novel author, but then he he just switched over to just writing about little sisters. Oh, the little sister one? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that one. <laughs> Fuck that entire first episode. First half anyway. <laughs> like I don't I honestly <laughs> I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. That little that that ha, that first episode just killed it for me. I'm like, nope, I can't do it. I cannot. And did, did, did you draw, did you draw a line when he was eating her panties or when he was drinking yeah, milk? Yes, <laughs> that was like this is fucking <laughs> this is some shit. Like, what are we doing here? Why are we still here? Are we, is it just to suffer? That's what we're doing. I'm suffering, so I couldn't do it. He had a unique personality. He was, you know. He had his own thing going. He had his own just bullshit. He had his harm, kind mm -hmm. of. Did he have a harm? Was Who, that a oh. harm? Yeah, he did. He did. Well, t two girls technically. And so kind of his little brother slash sister. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why he's a little brother, or oh, she's a little brother. <laughs> right, right. She's fucking spooked. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you have to hide. From your fucking big brother because he's a goddamn maniac. <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's probably one that I would consider bad because he just... Like, not even too so much? much that... He's just too much sister. I can't. <laughs> but maybe that's just a personal thing. Is I guess... I don't, I don't know if I can say it's objectively bad. But it's just not... I mean, did you watch the rest of the series? No, I need to. Because no. <laughs> that first, like, first half of the episode kind of just threw you yeah, off. That just that threw me off so far that I just could not do it anymore. <laughs> um. All right. Now, okay. No, I do have. I think I do have a good example. Granted, this one is a unique harm, very unique harm, and the main character does have have his own personality. But I would say it's a bad harm anime, but it's a good anime. Okay. Um... Korobaz Zombie Zombie Desuka. Oh, actually. it's a good anime, but it's a bad horror anime. Yeah, it's like I don't, it's, I don't even think it should count as a horror anime. Not just because there's more like a bunch of girls in it. Right, exactly. That's why it's a bad horror anime because he doesn't particularly show feelings for anyone except yeah. for uh, uh, Hellside. But even then, that's more of a 
It's like a quirk. That's, that's like a thing he does, like to you know, fuck around with her. Right to make her happy. Yeah. And none of them show any particular like um, love towards him, except for, um, I mean, the the Maho Shoujo Chainsaw Girl. She kind of, I, you know, by the second season, she kind of likes him. The mm-hmm. other, the blonde haired vampire girl, starts to like him. And even Hellsight has some affection towards him. The other, the you know, One Chan vampire just fucking hates him. <laughs> um, though she has some modicum of ex- respect for him. Right. But like, it's. The girls do develop feelings for him, but it's like so minuscule that it's just does. It's not a good. It's, if you're looking for harms, it's not a good one. Mm-hmm. But it's still a great anime. So yeah, definitely. I would probably put that as that example for a unique personality main character. Uh, good it has good waifus, but it's just a bad harm anime. Definitely, but it's a good anime overall. But I mean, we've been we've been going on for a little bit, guys, and I mean, there's I mean, granted, there's only three hundred and ten actual like harm animes. There's still a lot. That's a, that's still a lot in yeah, general. Three hundred anything's a lot. I mean, 300 is my current anime list, and that's, you know, that's just a mix of everything else and put together. Fucking so, <laughs> like, 300, you know, 300 harm anime by themselves, that's a lot. So, mm-hmm. I mean, if you want, if you guys want to check, if you want, if you want to check out any of the harm anime that we've discussed and more that we haven't discussed, um, the, the my anime list, the harm page will be, you know, linked down below for right, you guys. Just, go, just jump down or. Yeah, if you don't follow the link because, you know, you're not listening on YouTube, you can go to my, myanimelist.com, go to uh, Anime Search, and just click on the harem tag or type it in. Um, and you'll get, it's say 359, but again, a lot of those are repeat or hentai. So, yeah. I mean, so. I guess you want if you want to count hentai, but I don't think, <laughs> there's very few people that will read it for the story. Yeah, I mean, Princess Lover has a pretty good, you know, hentai variant of. The... You gotta watch the anime and then the hentai. I mean, <laughs> that doesn't count. I mean, the, the anime is based off the hentai, Jeron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of like Fate. It's based off the hentai. Right. You, you gotta, you gotta go in order, Jeron. Right. You gotta go hardcore, then just, then you gotta. Forgot. You gotta go balls deep, and then you gotta ease out. Uh-huh. Ease your, ease yeah. your way into the series. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, man, but again. As, as as always, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for downloading us. Remember to remember to like find find us on all the social medias and all that. And if yeah. you if you guys love if you I mean if you guys like or even hate horror anime, because I'll admit there was a time at a certain point where I was just sick of horror anime, and I same. I had to like go on a I had to go harm so I had to sober up on from harm for like maybe a season or two. There's so much you can take all at once because there was there was a time. Maybe like twenty. Let's say twenty two thousand six to like twenty sixteen. That it was just every season harm, 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 yeah. harm. I mean, I can drew kind of drew the line for me, Jeron. So, huh? I can drew the line for me. Icon's <laughs> 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 uh, a beautiful anime. If you ever wanna, <laughs> if you really like titties. Then there you go. I'll link that down below too. <laughs> Icon's a fave of mine. Oh man. For obvious reasons, but it's a good one. It's 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 for men of culture, right, Jaron? Right. It's you know, advanced <laughs> culture. Like that's like that's like what seven tier of like seven culture. tiered culture. <laughs> you right. But as always, guys, uh my name is Jamal Scoro. My name's Jaron Gaddis. And we are the Wanna Be Boo Podcast, bringing you the latest and greatest game and anime news, reviews, and waifus for life. Thanks for listening, guys, and we'll talk to you next time. <laughs> <laughs>